An open mind cannot be closed. I'm sorry I had to do that to you, Roger. What is this? Why am I tied up? I thought you were a soldier. I checked your ID and it appears you're not, so sucks, but I can't let you leave now. Sorry. Why? Because I can't risk you telling anyone you saw me here. What are you even doing here? I escaped one of the shuttles. What do you mean escaped? Escaped, as in I rolled out of the shuttle and had a bunch of soldiers chasing me escaped. Why would you do that? Because I don't want to die! Look, I'm going to let you know a little secret, okay, Raj? You ready? We're not being saved here. We're being wiped out. Can I please go back to my family now? You don't believe me. <laughs> you don't believe me. <laughs> that this is mass genocide? No, I don't believe you. Oh, but you believe the world is ending? There's scientific evidence backing it up. Evidence? Come on, Raj! This is evidence they're feeding you, man! Look, you know what I see? I see holes in that evidence, all right? I see families being dragged out of their homes. I, I see in the middle of the street a soldier shooting a dog. They're giving stray animals mercy killings. It's been on the news for weeks. Oh, oh, been on the news. You believe everything the news tells you, Raj, huh? All right, let me ask you something, okay? Don't you think it's a little odd that we haven't had phone service or internet access in the past month? It's all been explained. It all makes sense. Does it? I mean, does it really? Everything that's happening here is not happening to the whole world, okay? And I haven't figured out why us yet, but I'm telling you, this is not the end of everything, okay? They're just trying to end us. And every ounce of me knows that those vans are headed straight to death camps, I promise you. Look, if you stay here with me, we'll live and you'll see what I'm saying is true. What about my family? Family guy. Look, if you let me go, I won't I won't tell anybody that I saw you here. Nobody nobody has to know. No, but what if? What if I go get your family? I bring their asses here and I save us all and then we're like a family. But you being here has absolutely no effect on us. I promise I won't tell anybody anything. Just let me go and I swear it won't be a mistake. I promise you. You promise me. I promise you, man. You promise me? Roger, you don't want your family going where they're taking us. You're out early. Yeah, just uh, getting some fresh air while we still can, you know. You hurt yourself on your little stroll? Yeah, yeah. Tripped.
Where were you? Just give me a second. I gotta think. What? No. Or last night in our bed, you disappear. What happened to your head? There's a guy hiding out in the Anderson's house. What? Who? I don't know, just some guy off of his rocker. Did you tell one of the soldiers? No, he, he let me go, so I think we should just let this be. Roger, we can't just let some lunatic be. What if he comes over here and harms us? I don't think it's that's going to happen. It's not safe. If you don't tell someone, I will. to tell them. left to go trick-or-treating yet. Mom said that... I need you to do me a little favor, okay? Can you go play in your room for a little bit? And stay there till I come get you? Why? Because we can't go trick-or-treating right now. But uh, I got a bunch of candy in the house, and if you do this big favor for me, I'll give it all to you, okay? <sighs> okay. Okay, good. Good. I'll come get you in a little bit, alright? Do me one more really big favor. Stay away from the windows. Okay. Thanks, guy. Everything's gonna be all right. Did you finish packing? We're not going. Don't be ridiculous. Get your bag out, I'll pack it for you.